Hello and welcome to my second tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Today's subject is um, variables. In last time, we learned something about the Hello World application. And um, yep, I suppose there's only one way forward, and that is to create a new source file. Um, I'm just going to type in the standard things that we learned uh, last time. And then I'll explain what it all means to you afterwards. Embarrassing. Now I can't even type correct. Um, now, last time we learned what all this means, so there's no uh, reason for me to explain this again. Now you need to declare a new integer, and you do that uh, like this, a new variable actually. So type int speed equals 100. So now you created a new variable with the data type int, and int has to have a numeric value, in this case 100, and the name of our end is speed. Now, create a new variable with the data type string, call it a name, oops, call it name, and we put its value to um, Mercedes, because Mercedes is a nice car brand, and we would like a nice car, or at least I would. And uh, I don't really know why string doesn't get colored, but um, Yep, it's a data type just like int, and uh, you define a string with two quotation marks around it, and what and what's in between the two quotation marks is the value of the string, and this string's name is name, and and yes, I know that sounds confusing, but it was the best I could come up come up with. Now create a new C out statement which uh, prints out stuff on the screen. Now type my car is a name. Now that means m now it prints out my car is a and then it takes the variable called name and then it puts in uh, it substitutes the the the, uh, the text name with the value of name and the value of name is Mercedes. So now I'll say, now I'll say, hello, my car. Uh, hello, my, my car is a Mercedes, and it can drive. Uh, so now it says my car is a Mercedes and it can drive speed. Now it takes the value of speed, which is 100. So now it says my car is a Mercedes and it can drive 100 miles per hour. And then it ends the line. And it ends the line. So now let's see if this actually works by clicking this button right here. Now we're going to save this in our um, nice little folder right here. We're going to save it as variables. Wait for it to compile. And it looks like it compiled successfully. And now it says, my car is a Mercedes and it can drive 100.5 miles per hour. So now what if you change the value of name to um, BMW instead of Mercedes and try and run it. That'll, now it'll say, my car is a BMW and it can drive 100 miles per hour. And it's the same thing with uh, with the variable speed. If you change this to 250, your BMW your BMW can now uh, drive 250 miles per hour. But uh, uh, you can also assign new values to your variables. So now, what if you want to um, assign a new value to name just before it prints out this? You know, type name equals, and then in here the new value. Now we would like uh, a Mercedes again. You can pile and run. And now it sets the value of name to Mercedes just before it prints out this line right here. And it's the same thing with speed. You can change this 
speed again just before so now the first the first thing we'll do now is to uh, assign a new value to name which is mercedes and now it'll assign a new value to speed and we our new value should be 500 because this is a very fast mercedes now try to run it and now it says my car is a mercedes and it can drive 500 miles power so that's how you can assign new values to um that's how we can assign new new values to uh, variables but now what if you would like your car to be able to drive 250.5 miles per hour then you change the data type int to double and I, I actually don't know why they call it a double but uh, I remember like this because it has two numbers like you know the whole number and then the decimal number right here that's why I call that's my rule of remembering why they call it double now let's try and uh, run it and then we like to remove this because we don't want to assign it to a new value press F9 my car is a series and it can drive 250.5 miles per hour so um, that's good now we learn something about how to uh, create decimal numbers too but now what if you don't want uh, speed to be able to change uh, then you type C O N S T const, which uh, stands for constant, in front of double, because now uh, that uh, declares uh, this variable speed constant, which means that it will constantly be equal to 250.5. So it can never be changed, because it will constantly be equal to this. So now, what will happen if I try to assign a new value to speed now? Now I'll get an error. It says that um, our error is in this function, the main function, and then it is in this line. It tells us that speed is a constant variable. Sorry, but you cannot change it. Deal with it. And um, it's actually the same thing with name. If you try and declare constant, name equals. You also get an error right here, and even though the message is another, it actually means the same, and that means that sorry, name is constant variable, it cannot be changed, and it says that even though we assigned it to the same value, so it doesn't matter if you assign the new value to the same value as the old one, it'll still give this error message because it won't allow you to assign a new value no matter what to this variable now. So um. But you can still use the variable, call it like we do right here and here, even though it's constant with no errors. You see, run fine, it runs fine, even though these are constant variables. And uh, I suppose that's your tutorial on variables. I hope to see you next time. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. See you.